Man, just been down here working in the garden. It looks like she harvested another scotch bonnet. We hadn't had any scotch bonnets for quite a while, but I saw several on this one. See, see down there. Hopefully you can see that down in there. See, we've got several. Oh yeah, there's three right there. There's another one right there. Huh. Oh boy, this one's loaded. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight scotch bonnets. <laughs> Got a whole heap of them coming on this one. I'm not sure what kind of plant that is. When Maisie comes back, I'll ask her. Now these scotch bonnets over here have, haven't done so well. They have not done quite as well. Now Maisie's put some, got some of that red dirt from up around the Blue Mountains, up on Smoky Vale. And she brought some of that here to St. Thomas to put around her pomegranate and around her or avocado tree. Actually, avocado is just a name that they... Avocado is just a name that some people in foreign came up with back in the early 1900s. They were called an alligator pear. In Jamaica, we still call them pears. And the name in Florida was alligator pear, and it was in California, but the Spanish name was a name for a, a male part of the genitalia. And, you know, because of the way they hang down in the shape of, a, of an avocado. And they couldn't use that name because it was, people didn't want to, didn't want to buy it. It's kind of like they don't, you know, people came up with the name Rocky Mountain Oysters for the same reason, because it's, it's more marketable. So, in Jamaica, we still call them pears. We don't call them avocados. That was a marketing name they came up with because they didn't want to call them by that other name, you know, in foreign. And so, but this is a nice, a nice pear tree, alligator pear tree, that Maisie started from, she threw a pit out on the other side of the house and it took root. And then so she came and transplanted it over here. She got a lime tree, lime tree right here. Maisie, what kind of tree is this right here? It's lime. That's a lime also. Okay. And what about this? What about this kind here? That's a that's a guava tree. Oh, good, because we love guava. And you can see our pomegranate. Now our other pomegranate tree had too many cane near it. It wasn't want to grow up because it was too starved for moisture. And you said it's got a couple on here now? I saw one when I was back over there. Now I walk over here, I can't see it. Huh. I don't want to get too close to it. I'll knock it off. Where are the two at? I saw it. Oh, I took a picture of it already. Mm -hmm. Boy, that one, that, that first one, that first pepper tree, scotch bonnet pepper tree. It's got so many. I'll bet there's a dozen or more on there. Yeah. yeah, it's got all kinds of them. So now where's the, where are the pomegranates on this tree? See one pomegranate right there, so see one right in this, so see one right down there, so see one right in this one. Not this, so sit over there, so over here. Oh, now I see it. Now I see it. Well, I looked, I, I saw it from afar, and then when I got up close, I couldn't see it anymore. So there's one there. Oh, here's the other one. I see the other one. Oh, this one down here is a little bit bigger. So this didn't have any on it for a long time. And we finally got some on here. And then there's some olivera. She got lots of olivera. 
Well, I'm glad you're growing the guava. Did you grow those from seed too? From some that we just ate? So we just yammed some from across the way. And then she planted them over here. This one that looks like a little pine tree. Is this rosemary? Yeah. Okay. They kind of look like a little pine tree. Okay, Maisie informed me that the that the guava, they, it, although it came from guava seeds, it wasn't from the guava from across the way. I'm going to go take a few photos of this uh, of this pumpkin up here. And the papaya? Yeah, we got a papaya tree. Oh, I see. See? There's a papaya tree. And she put some of the soil around it. We had the next one, but she had to kill it off because it didn't want to get any papaya on it. So it wasn't the right kind of male or female or something. So, hi. So we're going to take a look at this at this pumpkin up in here. Oh, look at the pumpkin. I'm gonna do the cherry tree next. Yeah, there's the pumpkin. Look at that in there. Woo! Yeah, I know. I saw the one here and the, and the next one here. And I I know there's some more somewhere. This is two pumpkin right there. Two? Yeah, I saw these two. But there's, but there's a big one back here somewhere, isn't there? And if you go on the fence. Yeah, over by the fence. Well, I can't get up there, but. Anyway, viewers and subscribers, you're gonna have, oh, here's a huge one. <laughs> it looks as big as a watermelon. Do you see this one over here? That's a big one. There's a bunch in there and, and Kiwa over there, he he harvested a big one. Here's some of Precious's puppies. There's one of her little puppies laying there, taking a little a little snooze. So let me go show you the cherry tree here. This is not like Cherries in foreign where they just have one pit. These have three pits. I know that because I bought a pitter a few years back to pit some. And <laughs> it didn't work because the U.S. cherry pitters are made for one pit. These have three. See them? Oh, it's really barren. Yeah, it's really barren nice. Now, it seems like there was some wasp living in there at one time. I don't know if they still are, so I'm not going to climb up inside of it or anything. But here's, oh, I'm going to go up on Paul's here because I see a June plum up here too. I'm going to take a picture of. I'm going to go up on Paul's and take a picture of his June plum. Oh, yeah. Look at that, oh, he's got two trees. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's got a nice amount. Nice amount. Are those June plums? Okay, I wanted to be sure I was saying it right on YouTube, because I'd hate to be calling it one thing. And then Paul would have to call me up and say, no, that's not a June plum, what are you talking about? I thought it was. You got a lot of pumpkin growing here. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of fish. Yeah. <laughs> what? Let me see if I can get over by the fence. Everybody keeps telling me, get over by the fence. You'll see all kinds of them. Well. Oh, over there, there's one too. Way up there. Okay. Renee's up there. That's my 
my great niece, she's up there. She's pointing some out to me. But I'm not going to go up there. It's too steep for me. These grandpa legs don't want to don't want to work the way they should. All right. I was going to go on the road and do a video. And then suddenly, I stopped to talk to Maisie about what she's doing in the garden. And lo and behold, I'm just going to do a video right on my own yard. Now right in here is where we will throw some seeds. And we got a pomegranate that took root and Maisie repotted it and took it to to uh, her son and planted it on their yard uh, over in St. Andrew. But right along in here, where the water comes down from the eaves and it's this sandy, rocky soil, oh boy, it's like a, it, it's like a nursery there. It's like having a plant nursery, the way things will take hold there. It's really something. <clears throat> <clears throat> so and then the other day Maisie took a piece of pineapple took the stem of pineapple and put it in water and it took root so she took that to her son's place in St. Andrew also and planted that there so now they're going to have a pineapple tree and, now, and they have a pomegranate tree that came from our little natural God made nursery over there where the water runs off the eaves in that sandy, rocky soil. It's really something the way that works. Really something. This here is sage, this little one here. Hi. Oh, that's thyme, okay. Thyme, rosemary. How about down there, that's that's thyme also? Stone. Yeah, okay. Okay. Now, is that one lime tree just in the bucket, or does it go down into the ground, too? Bucket just I bucket have, only? No space, not near the and not enough space. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And this, this is the pomegranate tree we've been eating off of. Man, we harvested some nice ripe ones the other day. They were so sweet. So nice. Maybe put them in the refrigerator for... For a day or so and and uh, when i finally went to eat it oh boy that was nice oh i didn't even take a picture of the fever grass look how it roots so much you want to smell the leaves just pick and smell yeah because it's like a lemon go, go around there and i'm gonna go check the you can see the i didn't i didn't see any peppers on on these here See, see, it they have blossoms. See, oh, see. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see all the blossoms. Yeah, but that other one is just getting full. It's really getting full. It 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 got started in a little better dirt, or the roots just got a better start. But man, that pomegranate tree. Well, yeah. Well, what we what we ate last night. Had some of the scotch bonnet in it, remember? That you put a little bit in that, in that rice and vegetables. Okay, this is, this is fever grass. Oh, just break a little piece off. And rub it up. Oh, it smells like lemon. Lemon grass. Oh, it's lemon grass. They also call it fever grass. Jamaica, fever. In Jamaica, they call it fever grass, but it's called lemongrass. Oh, that's amazing. It makes good tea. Yes. You can make it at high speed too. You can use it. Can you make it? We make lemonade out of it, or not? Yeah. Not enough. You can make it like iced tea. Go right. I make that. Like yeah. Tea, put it in that, that's amazing how that tastes so much lemon. You see, like in the Middle East, I mm -hmm. like Asia. They love to use it in their meat. They, yes, they wrap the whole bone. Oh, they, they wrap it. Inside and they're roasting animal oil. Okay. They love it. Okay. Are you presentable enough to be on camera? 
<laughs> okay, Maisie can't be on camera, so you just got to put up with me alone. Just me alone today. <laughs> Wow! I left here. Look, I can't believe how it's sprouting up. And the one that I now pushed to New York. Yeah. We just maybe about three sprouts. Maisie's yes. Maisie's wash belly, when he was here for a friend's uh, mother's funeral, he he got a couple of these. He took one back to New York, and it was just a small little sprig that was planted here and look how it's just turned into a big old bush it, yeah? yeah i mean you could make a lot of tea and it's called fever grass because if you have a fever you make it into a tea it's grass, yeah and, and yeah yeah and it's got medicinal purposes yeah a lot of medicinal so so that's what you do yeah wow And then when you transplant some of your, like when you did the, the pineapple and you put it in water, you put a little bit of, of the juice or the jelly from the, uh, from the aloe vera in the water and, it, and that helps it, or just rub it on the roots and then that helps it, that helps it take better. She really knows the gardening. And she, oh, it's got a rooting hormone. Okay, you heard it from the, you heard it from the master gardener. It's got a rooting hormone, so you rub it on the roots or you rub it on the the bare part, and it makes it, it makes the the top of the of your, of your uh, pineapple, take root when it sits in water. You can use it on anything because it's, it's got root hormones. On your rosemary, on your thyme. How about parsley and sage? Okay, so we just have the rosemary and thyme. <laughs> yeah. And then next door we got some wildflowers <laughs> beyond the fence. It looks really nice. It really looks nice. It's nice and clean. Yes, and you and you got some of that that red dirt. I think it's red because it's got extra iron in it. So I think that's really going to be good. And I and. These little brown leaves on the on the pear tree, I think it, it had too many weeds in there. Now that we got them pulled, I think it'll do better. Huh? Aphids go on the leaves. Aphids? Aphids, yeah. Aphids, aphids, yeah. Well, however you say it. Aphids on the on the leaves. Okay. Uh, so I need to spray, but I use some some organic fertilizer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got the camera up here. I'll probably pick up all kinds of wind noise. The next day, you know, I can um, use the aphids. Make the aphid skin. powder. Mm -hmm. I don't really have powder for it, but I think you can use baking soda. Yeah. And some olive oil. And uh, some oil. Yeah. To make a spray. So well, try the wind's coming up now, so I'm going to start picking up wind noise. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this off, so... Viewers and subscribers, I didn't even have to leave the yard tonight. So, uh, bless up. Appreciate y'all. Be sure and like and share the video and subscribe to the channel, Red Button Journal. And leave me comments because, you know, I love these comments. They're really encouraging. They really, really, really encourage me. So, what was that, dear? No, I noticed that you're on this side. No, it's barren. Yeah. And that could be from the having the garden clean, too. Or the time of year, because the sun's coming from this way more. No, but the, the, the garden just, just um. Everything's really going. Yeah, you know, spring. Mm-hmm. Yeah.
I was reading. In Korean, that's tight, you know. I read somewhere there's four seasons in Jamaica. There's yeah. dry season, there's mango time, there's hurricane season, and there's Christmas time. Uh, <laughs> We're just coming into mango time. It's a joke. We're just coming into mango time. Mango time, I, I no, you know. Like some place now the mango has slowed down, while some place it don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there is one mango that I think is way in September that mango coming. Huh. What is that mango? Do? You know what the most you know what the most common mango in Jamaica is? The common mango. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> of course. They also it's some people call it the stringy mango. But you see like more more most um people like maybe getting rid of them like because of mm -hmm. that yeah is, yeah i noticed that is um east indian mango get very plenty and um julie uh-huh and the julian the, the julie julian the julie mango say so, yeah it's a saint julian mango some people just call it the julie mango and it's funny because there's a comedian in jamaica and she goes by julie mango uh, <laughs> and she's funny she must be like, she's know. funny yeah yeah so anyway all right be sure and uh, subscribe to the channel and big up yourself later